kids, I am so glad that you are here with us. My name is Miss Carrie, and you know what time it is. It's time for Journey Kids at Home. All right, so two things we got to do. The first thing, is your family there? Are they in the room? Remember, we want to do this what? All together. That's right. So tell them we're about to start. Did you get everybody? All the grown-ups, brothers, sisters? All right. Next, I need you to get your supplies. This week, you're going to need a sheet or a blanket. Uh, if you happen to have a parachute, a play parachute, you can grab that too, but a sheet or a blanket will work fine. And then you'll also need some Play-Doh. Now, if you don't have any Play-Doh on hand, you can use paper and crayons for this activity as well. Okay? I'm going to give you one minute. Go grab those things. I'll be right back. Go! Go! job you got all of your supplies well done put those to the side and we're gonna jump in do you remember what our theme has been Christmas cookies we love Christmas cookies don't we and I have this little box over here of different cookie cutters because sometimes when you make cookies you might get to cut shapes with them this week our cookie cutter is what is that what does that look like to you a candy cane, that's right. But it's also the shape of something that will happen in one of our stories, okay? So we'll look at that in just a little bit, all right? Now, before we get started with all of our other activities, I want to do a little game with you, all right? I have two different colors here. I have red and green. And these colors remind us of Christmas, right? You see lots of red and green. But if you were uh, riding in a car with your family and you got to a stoplight and the stoplight was green, what do you do? That means go, that's right. And red means what? Stop, that's right. Red is stop, green is go. Now, let's play a little game. I'm gonna put up a color and if I put up red, what do you do? You stop. But if I put up green, I want you to run in place as fast as you can. Go, 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 go. Okay, are you ready? Okay, go. Run as fast as you can. Keep going. Stop. Ooh, good listening. Are you ready? Oh, I didn't quite change it. Go, 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 go. Fast, fast, fast. Stop. That was, that was quick. Are you ready? Go. Oh, you guys are so good. You're running so fast. Go, go, go. Stop. Go. Stop. Great job listening, guys. Now, in our story, you're going to hear someone in our story is told to stop and listen. And then later in our story, you're going to hear about someone who is told to go and tell someone about something that's happened. All right, so I want you to listen for that in our story. But before we get to our story, Ms. Nahana has a fun activity for us. So listen up. Good morning, Journey Kids. It's Ms. Nahana. And this week, we will be celebrating Jesus's birthday and singing happy birthday to him in just a few days. Well, if you remember, our memory verse tells us that God loves a world so much 
that he gave his only son. What's his name? Jesus, that's right. Well, today I want us to play with a parachute. So if you haven't already, grab your play parachute or a blanket or sheet. And then if you have an inflatable globe or a ball or what I did was just wrap, wadded up wrapping paper because God is a, or Jesus is a gift to us. Um, and then you can use that as to bounce around on your parachute or sheet. But what we're going to do, and I'm going to play a video in just a second of Job and I showing you what to do, is every time you hear me say the name Jesus, I want you to raise your parachute as high as you can. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, of course. So watch the video, and while you're watching the video, you can go ahead and do it too. My helper, Job, to show us what to do. All right, so in our memory verse, it says that God loved us so much that he sent his son, Jesus. Why is Jesus special? <laughs> because Jesus is God's son. Let's do that again. God loved the world so much that he gave us Jesus. Why is Jesus special? Because Jesus is God's son. Yay! Again, God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. Jesus is God's son. Why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. All right, boys and girls, I hope you had fun. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas with your friends and family and maybe even neighbors. And I will see you next time. Bye. Well, I hope you had so much fun with your parachute. You know, a parachute is a great way to practice both your memory verse and practice our question for the month. And do you remember what the question of, of the month is? Why is Jesus special? Do you remember? Because Jesus is God's son. That's right. And so we're going to hear another story from the Bible, from God's Word, which means we know it's a true story that really happened. All right, are you ready? We're going to do three things as we get started. What are they? 
First, we're going to worship God. This is where you get to sing and dance and clap. Next, we will hear our Bible story. This is when you get quiet and listen. And last, we will say our memory verse. All right? We're going to worship God, hear our Bible story, and say our memory verse. Great job. All right, everybody up on your feet, and we'll get ready to worship.
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Yes. Oh, hello there, friends. Welcome to the Christmas Clubhouse. It's me, Manny, and I'm just so excited to see you today. Today has been all about candy canes for me. First, I put up my new candy cane decoration in the clubhouse. Doesn't that look cool? Then, I made candy cane Christmas cookies to give to some of my friends in the neighborhood. They're gonna be so happy. Do you like Christmas surprises? Me too! I just have to finish putting these cookies in this last box, and then I'll be ready to share them. I can't wait to see Uncle Bob's face when he sees the cookies. Why, thank you, Manny. And I bet my friend Annika will be so happy. Candy canes are my favorite! And my neighbor, Mr. Gonzalez, will be so surprised. Mr. Gonzalez doesn't say much, but he loves cookies. I can't wait to share these with everyone. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Planning Christmas surprises, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I was just finishing up putting my candy cane cookies in these boxes to share with my neighbors. Sharing at Christmas is a great thing to do. I have a story about others who share, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hi, everyone. It's almost Christmas. Who's excited? <laughs> I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out my newest Christmas treats. Ready? Ta-da! <laughs> They're sheep with candy canes on the wrappers. These remind me of today's part of the true story of Christmas. If you're ready on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Oh, look! See, there's the sheep in the field being watched by their shepherds. What sound do sheep make? Ba, ba. Very good sheep! Okay, you can stop now because I've got something special to tell you. These guys don't know it yet, but on this very night not too far away, Jesus, God's son, was born! Let's do an excited whisper dance. Ready? Yay! <laughs> well, God is about to make a big announcement right out here in this field, and these guys are going to be so surprised. Watch this. <gasps> An angel appeared in the sky! The shepherds were so surprised, and the angel said, A special baby has been born. He's God's son. Go find him in the manger. Suddenly, the whole sky filled with angels. They were praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Let's pretend we're angels too. Hold out your pretend angel wings and let's say, Glory to God in the highest. Ready? Glory to God in the highest. Great. Again, now louder. Glory to God in the highest. <laughs> Great job. Okay, everyone put their angel wings down. Everyone was excited about Jesus being born because Jesus is God's son. <laughs> when the angels left the shepherds, they had to remember what the angels told them to do. Do you guys remember? Where did the angels tell the shepherds to go? <gasps> to see baby Jesus in the manger. <laughs> and once they saw him, they knew they needed to go tell 
everyone that Jesus, God's son, was born. Everyone who heard the good news that Jesus had been born was amazed. They knew Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. The angels and shepherds told others about Jesus, and we can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, I love that story. The shepherds were so excited to tell everybody that Jesus was born. They knew it was a big deal and wanted everyone to know about Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you didn't say got it, get it? Got it! Good! You know what? This looks just like the shepherd's hook in the story. I'm gonna make even more candy cane cookies to share with my neighbors. And I'm gonna tell them all about Jesus, just like the shepherds did when I delivered the cookies. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3.16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3.16. Well, that was such a great story. And do you see how our little game connects to that? What did the shepherds do? The shepherds stopped and listened to the angel, and then they ran to go see who? Jesus, that's right. Because the angels had a special message for the shepherds that Jesus had been born. Right? Now, we looked at, we saw a candy cane earlier, right? And I have a real candy cane right here. But this shape also looks like the shape of what they would have called a crook that the shepherds would have used to help herd all of the sheep, to help them go in the right direction. So this part might have kind of around their neck a little bit to pull them to go the right, the right way. Um, the shepherds would care for the sheep. That's what they did with this. And the shepherds are now told about baby Jesus and they run to go see him. And we have such good news that Jesus has been born that we want to share that with other people too. So I want you to do something for the next couple of minutes. I want you to get your Play-Doh out and I want you to see if you can make this same uh, crook, you know, candy cane shape out of your Play-Doh. Okay, see if you can make one. And while you're doing that, oh, and if you don't have uh, Play-Doh on hand, just use crayon, crayons and paper and you can draw yours, okay? But while you're doing that, this is what I want you to do. I want you to talk with your family about who are the people that you could go to and tell them about Jesus, that you could tell them that Jesus has been born and that's why we celebrate at Christmas, all right? So I want you to do that for a couple of minutes and then we'll come back together.
Well, I bet that you have some fun uh, Play-Doh shapes that you've made with your candy cane shape, your, your shepherd's crook shape. Um, we'd love to see those, by the way, on your Journey Kids Facebook pages. We'd love to see what you're doing um, as you participate in Journey Kids at home, so don't forget to post. Um, but what I really hope is that you had a good conversation, too, about who are the people that you can tell about Jesus being born. Who could you go and tell? Maybe it's someone that you normally would see throughout the week. Uh, maybe a neighbor, maybe someone that you could call or, you know, on Zoom. We can be really creative these days about how we uh, can connect and talk with people. Um, so I would really love for you to do that together as a family, is to think about who that could be um, and to have that conversation this week and to tell them about Jesus being born and that that's why we celebrate at Christmas. But before we go, I would love to pray for us. So I want you to just settle back down a little bit. I you to close your eyes, fold your hands. These things just help us to focus on God as we talk to him. Okay, so let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much, um, God, for the way that you love us. God, we see that because you sent Jesus as a baby um, to earth, that he came here, God, for us. God, we know that, um, that you sent him because you love us, God, and that he is so special because he is your son. And so, God, I pray for all of my friends, God, this week that they would remember, um, God, that, that Jesus was sent for them. God, and I pray that you would help them to tell others about who you are. Um, God, that they could have a conversation um, with one friend or family member, um, God, with someone, and tell them why they are celebrating Christmas, that it's about Jesus being born um, and the love that he has for us um, and the hope that we get to experience because, uh, God, uh, you came near to us. So thank you so much for the way that you are caring for us. And God, I pray that you would help uh, all of my friends, God, just to be able to celebrate well this Christmas season. We love you and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends. Well, it is that time when we end our time together, but we will be back again uh, next week. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Uh, and until next time. 